Hello everyone, this is Aniket and in this video I will talking about how you can make your first contribution. First contributions are always special because that's an interesting part in how you start your open source journey. Like before you contribute, the major concern that people have is selecting organizations. And I won't blame you if you have not selected our organizations yet. So in case you want to know how you can select an organization that will be the best for you, you can check the link in the description. So now once you select an organization, there are majorly two concerns. Like firstly, I don't know how can I contribute, but I understand what the tech stack they're using. And I also have the particular domain knowledge in which they're working on. And secondly, is I don't yet have the tech stacks required wherein I can start contributions. So don't worry, in this video, I will be covering the major two points which you might have. And also, also, like even if you know all those things, how can you make your first contribution? So the basic contribution or the way you can start your contributions is firstly understanding what the organization exactly does, not just how the code is written or the functions. Like firstly understand, understand, understand what they are trying to build and what their vision is and if that is matching with you. Because if you're planning to contribute for a long period of time, you should have a clips and concise idea on what they are actually working on. So moving ahead, like once you have read about the organization, the particular things required for them, you can move ahead. So firstly, go to the issue section of any repository that you are interested in. Like first you open the organization, you open the GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket or whatever they're using and you go check out the repositories. Click on the repository that interests you the most. And once you've selected that, click on the issues segment. Now, once you've clicked on issues, you can see the particularly issues which they have listed upon. Like maybe it's a better start for you if you select beginner friendly or good first issues, but that's not, not, not compulsory. You can select anything which you're interested in solving. Like once you selected that, a particular issue, go over there and read the issue properly. If you're not able to understand the issue, that's totally fine. It happened with me a lot of time. You just comment down there like, hey, I actually want to solve this, but have no idea on how can I work on there will be someone from the community who will be helping you out by explaining the issue further. Now, once you've understood the issue, try to understand that if you can solve the problem and if your domain knowledge is a limitation or your technical skills is a limitation. So, no worries. You might have limitations in both of them. Take your time because no one is running behind. Like if the issue is a high priority, so might be you need to solve it quicker. But if it is not, you get the time to learn properly. Like once they have mentioned and you understood the issue, understand what they have mentioned and read a bit more. Once you have done that, write in the comments, like in the thread of the particular issue on what you understood and what is stopping you. Now we have mentioned that and ask them for particular resources. Like and once they have assigned you the resources, try reading that and then write the key. Hey, now I got the idea on how I can solve this particular issue. Can you please assign this to me? So assigning or getting the issue assigned is particularly important because it might create conflicts between other fellow contributors who are already contributing. So don't contribute unless and until you are assigned the issue. Now, once you've got the issue assigned and you have the idea on what exactly is required to contribute, now you can raise your first pull request and the way you can get started with your first ever contribution. So this is a particular way you can work on already solving an issue which is created. The second way is like if you have a clear idea on how a music video player should look like, like maybe we can compare the already building music player or you have a particular idea, you know, like how a chat application can be made more seamless, can how the emojis or maybe something else, right, can be in, uh, included in the particular chat segment of the application which would make the application boom, right? So if you have those particular ideas, then you can create your own issues. Like creating your own issues gives you an added advantage. Not only you are someone who is just willing to solve on the issues which they have already created, but you are someone who is also taking part in the product development. Like and once you have selected those and if you don't have the domain knowledge, no worries. Maybe you will get the opportunity to work on the issue which you created. Like now, if your issue is something which the corresponding mentors fail is of high priority, then might be they will be solving it. But in case they don't fail it is, you will get a lot of time to read the way I mentioned earlier. And now you can solve the issue which you created on your own. You read that and then you can solve. So these are the two ways. Like firstly, solving the issues which they have created. And secondly, the solving the way issues which you have created. So that's how you can start contributing to open source. And I hope 
you understood the thing and in case you have any doubts related to you know how can you see the organization or how can you start with it feel free to mention that but also don't forget like if you're someone who is just starting out in tech and you might be willing to solve issues and to understand how workflow and how actually the open source ecosystem works there are particularly good websites like suppose uh good first issues dot there where you can select your good first issues and you can start contributions from there because you know selecting organizations can be difficult and but selecting and working on the particular issue will be a bit more easier once you've got that selected i hope you get your first pr merged and your open source journey starts Best of luck and bye-bye.